Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to this week's RLI Roundup. I'm Jane Rafter, your host and owner and publisher of RLI, the world's only global retail and leisure magazine. The UK is waiting in anticipation this week for the reopening of restaurants and bars as from Monday, as it finally moves to step three of its roadmap to recovery, allowing many industries to reopen for the first time in months, including cinemas, museums and indoor hospitality. This is the perfect time to explore the future of hospitality, so make sure you check out this week's RLI Talks podcast, where I am joined by Matt Turner, founder and CEO of Taste Card, the UK's largest diners club with over 7,000 participating restaurants and over 3 million members. Visit rli.uk.com forward slash podcast to listen via your favourite podcast app. Now, it's time to find out what's been happening across the globe this week. In the UK, off-price footwear retailer Shoeaholics have launched their new retail site at Westfield, London in White City. At 25,000 square feet, it is the retail brand's largest site in the UK and stocks such brands as Aldo, Carvella, Birkenstock, Skechers, Hunter, and many more. Swedish chain IKEA are in talks to take over the former Topshop store in London's busy Oxford Street as part of plans to open outlets in city centres. According to the company, 40 major cities around the world will welcome their vibrant urban destinations in the near future. The first phase of Mercato Metropolitano's 17,500 square foot site at Elephant Park is set to open its doors later this month. Opening adjacent to the Walworth Library and Southwark Heritage Centre in London, the deli will sell a full array of artisan and sustainable products, including cured meats, cheeses and breads. Situ Life has partnered with Enterprise Nation to give emerging brands the chance to win a space in Situ Life's Westfield London store. The store already showcases some of the world's smartest products and brands, including Facebook, Maserati, Fitbit, Lutron, and more. Lansdek has revealed that iconic British women's wear brand, Ghost London, has launched a new 1,624 square foot unit at Gunworth Keys. The new outlet features the brand's trademark contemporary vintage feel across all designs, including bridal and ready-to-wear clothing. Unibuy Rodanco Westfield has announced a series of new signings across its London centres in Q1, welcoming a breadth of new offerings to East and West London as one of the world's leading retail destinations. New retailer signings across leisure, dining, entertainment and fashion include experiential retail destination Situ Live, Genesis, UFO Drive, Kurt Geiger's Shoeaholics and more. On the international arena, Munich-based hotel brand and pioneer of the lean luxury philosophy Ruby Hotels has launched its third Dusseldorf Hotel in Kasernenstrasse. Ruby Luna boasts 206 rooms, 13 floors, a spacious and stylish 24-hour bar, cafe and lounge on the ground floor. American lifestyle and performance footwear company Skechers is continuing on its European expansion with the opening of an additional store in France. Located at Corbeil-Essonne to the south of France, the new store is anticipated to open in summer 2021. Hugo Boss opened a new Boss outlet on Wednesday at the Zweibrücken fashion outlet in Germany. The premium global retailer is showcasing modern business looks and trendy street styles across 
across its newly launched 500 square meter site at the outlet. Global hospitality company Hackathon Group has revealed further growth through its flagship Hackathon brand with two new locations in Turkey. The group will launch its first Hackathon restaurant within the Mandarin Oriental Bodrum Hotel in the summer of this year, followed by a restaurant in the Mandarin Oriental Bosphorus Hotel, slated to open in the latter part of this year. Family owned High Street toy retailer, The Entertainer, has opened its first entertainer branded store in Spain, following a rebrand of its poly store in Valencia. The store will adopt many of the UK retail practices, such as demonstrations and character meet and greets. Heading over to the Americas now, Macy's has announced its vision for renewing its commitment to its flagship Herald Square store. The plan would upgrade the store's transit infrastructure and public realm into a modern pedestrian friendly urban space with upgraded subway access. Upscale home furnishings retailer RH, formerly known as Restoration Hardware, has opened a new three-level store gallery in the Knox district of Dallas. The store has nearly 70,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space and features luxury home furnishings in gallery-like settings. The store is topped off with a glass encased rooftop restaurant and wine bar. Amazon has introduced its newest contactless payment method to shoppers in New York. Customers shopping at the Amazon Go convenience store in Midtown Manhattan can now pay for their purchases with just a wave of their palm. This store is the first outside of Washington state to offer the payment solution. Primark is looking to continue its recent US expansion drive with the launch of two new stores at two Mace Rich centers, Tyson's Corner Center in Virginia and Green Acres Mall in New York. The new leases further expand Mace Rich's relationship with Primark. US Polo Association has partnered up with Alpada Brazil, a Brazil-based leader in apparel, footwear, and sporting goods. The two entities have signed an exclusive license agreement for US Polo Association apparel and footwear collection to launch in Brazil for fall winter 2022. As we venture over to the Middle East, a new Rolex boutique has opened at the Galleria Almaya Island in Abu Dhabi. The new boutique is located in the central atrium on the ground floor and offers professional expertise and advice in an elegant setting. A new 15 screen box cinema spread across two floors has opened at Wafi City in Dubai. The hybrid cinema and family entertainment consists of a Magic Planet play zone, the UAE's first Samsung on its screen, a dedicated auditorium for young movie lovers called Kids and Max, an auditorium with a mega screen. In Cannes, the UAE-based retail real estate developer has announced new retailers that will set up shop in Sheikha Fatima Park, a public recreation and leisure destination in Abu Dhabi that will officially open later this year. Allocating around 10,000 square meters to retail spaces, the first round of confirmed new retailers include Dialogue Concept Store, Solar Cafe, Seven Dogs, Teela House, and Chocolate Republic, amongst others. Quick-growing hospitality company Time Hotels will increase its portfolio to 30 properties by 2025, with openings planned for the Middle East and Indian Ocean. This year, the company will open three hotels in the UAE, the 91 key Time Moonstone Hotel Apartments in Fujairah, the 99 key Time Burj Al Sadar Hotel Apartments in Sharjah, and the 232-room Time Asma Hotel in Al Barsha, Dubai. Under Armour, 
which operates at 30 brick and mortar stores in the MENA region, is collaborating with digital agency Emikina to add an e-commerce platform to its sales channel for the area. The experience will be accessible across desktop, phone and tablet devices. Coming over to Asia, Moncler has unveiled a new boutique entirely dedicated to the Moncler Enfant collection. Located in Hong Kong's Ocean Terminal, the new store is divided into two areas and features nearly 100 square meters dedicated entirely to sales. Italian retailer Antonia has opened a new flagship store at the K11 Art Mall in Hong Kong. In addition to a selection of brands ranging from Saint Laurent, Bottega Veneta and Burberry to Ambush and Danny, the store also carries a capsule of tie-dye t-shirts Antonia developed in collaboration with Angel Chen to celebrate the opening. Following years of organized pop-ups, environmental charity Redress has opened its first permanent second-hand clothing shop, the Redress Closet, situated in Shamshi Po. The new store offers customers a wide selection of pre-loved items from women's wear and men's wear to bags and accessories. Cognac, produced Louis XIII, has launched a permanent shopping shop in Singapore, the first venue of its kind for the brand in Southeast Asia. The new flagship store will offer the widest range of Louis XIII products, including large and rare bottles. And finally, La Jardin Travel Retail has teamed up with the SMCP Group to open Sandro and Marge Boutiques in the Hainan Tourism Duty Free Shopping Complex in downtown Sanya. These openings represent the debut for both brands in Hainan's burgeoning offshore duty-free market. That brings a close to this week's RLI Roundup. Don't forget to take a look at this month's May issue if you haven't already done so. Have a great weekend and to all our friends and colleagues around the world celebrating Eid al-Fatir, I hope you enjoy the festivities. I'll be back next Friday with more global news. Until then, say hello to Checkers, who you've not seen for a while, but he's no longer a puppy and he's getting big. See you next week. Bye.